back at it. Feathers, uh, the paint has dried. Okay, I'm going to uh, shorten the length of the uh, wire at the end of the... Uh, the uh, I'm thinking rather than have the bow and quiver on the ground because that's going to be confusing to the eye and people who don't know what they're looking at won't know what they're looking at. So I'm thinking of putting the bow, bow quiver with the empty uh, quiver of arrows on his back. I'll think about that. I don't want to make the shield this complicated with all these feathers because that's going to, oh my god, if this is a $15,000 piece, this would make it a $20,000 piece because of the cost of reproducing that. Artists are often restricted what they can do to a sculpture by how much it costs to reproduce it. Okay, I'm just going to straighten out the wire. I will put detail into the wrapping and of the uh, feather at another time, but right now got to decide what angle. key is to make it so they can be cast as one piece. And so I'm trying to work out the uh, Well, I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put the feathers aside and add more hair to this guy. Keeping in mind that he's got a back of the head.
doing is just building the uh, under support for the hair texture. By the way, all the tools that I'm using in this video, except for the uh, silicone tip tool, uh, which I use occasionally, can be purchased through uh, SculptureDepot.net. Everything you can imagine a sculptor would need is uh, sold in that store in Loveland, Colorado. And... Uh, Karen and the gang down there just uh, are all too happy to help you. So if you have any questions uh, about a material that you may need for a particular project, they probably have it. So keep their address on your uh, short list if you're a sculptor. Karen at uh, Sculpture Depot designed these glyptic uh, wire tools and they're just the best. I've got several different sizes. This is a small size and they have corresponding wire heads that will go with these. You buy one handle and then a whole bag of uh, wire loops that can be attached to it. It really gives you, you know, a lot of tools in one. All I'm doing is uh, trying to put texture in for the hair. I'm going to do a little self-promoting here. I have, uh, right now, almost 10 uh, instructional DVDs. I may have more when you see this because it might be sometime in a long distant future from now. But right now, on this date, in uh, 2017, I've got nine instructional DVDs. Now, of course, all but one delves into Western figures. But, for instance, if you were to do a, a fantasy figure, uh, anything with detailing 
<coughs> elements of what I'm teaching in those DVDs uh, will come in handy for whatever you're sculpting. You can take what you learn and put it towards the thing that you want to do. So you don't have to do Western to uh, get from my DVDs some help. You can do anything you want. <coughs> Sculpting techniques are the same no matter what you're doing. So may I suggest that you take advantage, those of you who are interested, in the uh, learning techniques and coming up with little shortcuts that uh, you could take advantage of in your own sculpting. And when you sculpt and you want to cast it in a, a bronze or whatever, you've got to uh, have the clay simple enough and you got to sculpt it in a way that a mold can be made of it. So there's a link in the video description here on YouTube to a review of my nine DVDs. Yeah, I kind of like the uh, way that hair is turning out now. I'm try something here. not uh, I'm just trying to see if there's some kind of design that can come from the feathers all right that's gonna I'm gonna let it sit there like that tonight I'll just live with the uh, design of the feathers and the hair and see how I feel about it tomorrow and uh, Maybe I'll change things, I don't know, or improve them, but that's uh, kind of what I've got, that's kind of what I've got to do is just live with it for the evening and come back to it uh, when I get back onto it and decide whether I like it or not. Good night, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time